Have you ever wondered why consumers go to Starbucks and pay a premium for a cup of coffee? Or have you ever wondered why they are willing to pay that premium and what value they derive from that cup of coffee? Well, if you have, then this course is right for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Kaiser, and I'll be teaching the course Delivering Customer Value. In this course, we examine the ways consumers perceive value in market offerings, and also how managers respond to consumer desires and needs for value in the products that they choose to buy. In this course, we'll explore new product development and how companies go about creating new marketplace offerings for consumers based on consumer feedback, based on marketplace and technology changes, and oftentimes simply based on consumer posts on social and digital media. In addition to new product development, we'll also look at pricing strategies because as we all know, price is the equivalent of value for some consumers. So as the price increases for consumers, are they willing to pay more or less for that perceived value? Or are they manipulating or modulating their value perceptions based on the price? And we'll take a look at branding because everyone loves brands. If a brand has a good, strong brand messaging strategy, then maybe value perceptions are tied along with the branding positioning. And maybe even brand promotions or marketing communications because marketing communications are the first point of contact for most consumers in terms of how they perceive value. So this course is a nice mixture of product, pricing, branding, promotion, and even channels of distribution. Because where you buy your product will determine how you perceive value for the company. So if you're going to buy an expensive uh, handbag, let's say a Louis Vuitton handbag, you only want to buy it from Saks, Nordstrom's, or even the boutique. If Walmart began selling Louis Vuitton handbags, would you be so inclined to buy it? Probably not. So we look at the value proposition from all as aspects of marketing, from the product, the price, distribution channels, you name it, we take a look at it. And more importantly, with the advent of big data and social analytics, we are also going to examine the digital and social spaces where consumers post comments about brands and products. And we'll examine how companies take those comments from social and digital spaces and use those to modify their value proposition for the consumer. So if you're a marketing concentration major, a management concentration major, or even if you're an entrepreneur, if you wanna learn about how to create and to develop value for consumers and your products and your services, then please join me next spring as we go through the course delivering customer value. Hope to see you there.